What's up guys, NBA talk for September 20th, 2017, Wednesday basketball for you. Um, this is going to be short. This is a little bit of a rant, maybe a lot more. So let's just get into it because sports media pisses me off bad. It's pissing me off for the last couple of weeks. It's been really pissing me off. Uh, this week, it, it really dawns on me on the situation where the media and players have the status between the media and the players of all sports. What ha what has it come to where it's really a distance between them? Like there's animosity between both squads. So Kyrie Irving, the interview. On first take earlier this week, he was arrogant. He thought he he was better than everybody. Sure, maybe you could argue about that. But the way how everybody has reacted since this interview, not just the media, but the fans as well. Like, everybody's all up in their feelings right now. Like, seriously bad. Oh, man. Like, it's hard to... It's hard to speak on this because it's it. There's so many things that I want to say, but I just want to keep this simple. I just want to keep it simple. Like people are really in their feelings, especially these analysts, Stephen A. Smith, Max Kemelin, that Will Crane guy who I absolutely hate, and I think a lot of people hate him. I speak for a lot of people. No one really likes this dude who comes on ESPN First Take and just talk a whole bunch of shit. Uh, people like Nick Wright with his dick riding uh, LeBron James loving ass. He just loves LeBron James. Um, yeah, a couple others, but I can't name a, uh, all of them. Ever since this interview, it, it's really dawned on me that, like, people, like, I'm going to say this again. I know I'm repetitive, but people are really earning their feelings. Ever since the um, Kyrie Irving requested his trade, everybody's perception of Kyrie Irving has changed. Like, seriously bad. Like, all of a sudden, the, the flaws, the mistakes that Kyrie Irving does, all of a sudden, it's come full bloom. Like, all of a sudden, everybody sees the truth. Like, I've seen it. I knew Kyrie Irving was not as big as everybody was saying he was. But all of a sudden, now, he is no good. He is not a superstar. He's just below average guy. He's 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 a star. All of a sudden, Max Kebelin feel like he was hurt by Kyrie Irving's statements. Like, come on. You know that not pl players don't like you. Players do not like the media. A lot of people don't like Stephen A. Smith. People don't like Nick Wright. People don't like Will Crane. Um, it's obviously because you don't even hear any players sticking up for these people. You don't hear nobody sticking up for the media. Period. For the last couple of years, you can't get me a single player that's defending the media right now. They keep their mouth shut. And they're, sometimes they clap back at these medias who just always in their business. They people You always hate somebody that's in their business. And then you have to think as a uh, celebrity, people are always going to be in your business. It's always going to be that situation. So we have this Kyrie Irving situation. All of a sudden, everybody's going at Kyrie Irving. Oh, he can't play defense. He can't pass the ball. He's no true leader. LeBron James carried him to the finals, carried him to the playoffs. He's the reason that Kyrie Irving made the playoffs in the first place. All of a sudden, that's coming up. All of a sudden, that's coming up. And we're not even speaking on the KD situation. He's only up to the situation, but still, people still find a way to bash him. Sure, maybe he was wrong. Maybe he should have, um, like, straight up did it himself. Like, as himself, like, straight up told the people the truth. Like, said what he really feels. So you guys can make up more stories. Like... The media seems like they want to bully players into what they want them to be. Like, 
For instance, Stephen A. Smith went on another jab. He took another jab at KD saying that, oh, KD needs to apologize to me. I'm old apology. Like, like seriously, it was years ago where KD called out Stephen A. Smith uh, saying that he was leaving, which it was true. It was true that KD was leaving. But Kevin Durant don't want no people in their business. You don't want nobody in your business like that, especially the media. Because you know they could turn things all around. Because I guess in K, uh, I guess in Stephen A. Smith's mind that he he's trying to uh, uh, put the assumption that Stephen A. Smith is a pretty much a liar. He's trying to twist things. He's trying to destroy the credibility, which in itself, like you look at them, like you're destroying your own credibility because we're looking at you every day. Just like other players, just like celebrities, we're looking at these media and we're seeing the truth before our very eyes. We know you guys are puppets. You're all about the green. So, Max Kemmerlin, I'm surprised at least. Like, like I'm surprised he went off like that. Well, not necessarily off, but he slowly, he looked like he was hurt by this. He was agreeing with Will Crane, which is surprising because... Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense come out of Will Crane's mouth. Straight up. I'm surprised that Max Kellerman was that emotional about it. I thought he was going to go straight up. You know players don't like you. You should know this by now. You, it's your job. It ain't your job to be in your feelings all the damn time. Sure, maybe there'll be times where you need to be emotional driven. But this situation is not so. He's not attacking you directly at least. Because no one's really worrying about you at all. So that's pretty much it. Like the media is just stupid right now. Um, that's it for today. Peace out guys. We'll see what happens later on this week. My Giants loss. So I'm still depressed. Peace.